With electricity, first and foremost, it's a social network. That's the fundamental point about it. What it does is it helps you to track, compare, and reduce your electricity consumption at home. And it does that by engaging you and your friends in the network to provide the things that you need to help you to conserve. It's, it's based on some relatively sound behavioral psychology principles. And what it does is it provides you with four things. It gives you information. It gives you feedback about your energy use. It gives you the ability to set goals for your consumption reductions and to make plans to achieve those goals. Even if we produce more electricity from wind and solar, all of that still has a carbon footprint. You know, a wind turbine is an expensive thing to build. It's expensive in terms of materials which have to be mined. They have to be fabricated. They have to be transported. All of this uses resources, including energy. So, you know, the same thing applies to a photovoltaic panel. All of these things have their own built-in carbon footprint. So even if we are able to move to more green and clean and renewable energy sources, it's still important for us to conserve the output of those sources because if we can supply our electricity needs with one less solar panel or one less windmill, that's even better. You know, there's a network effect here. The more people that use this, the more people want to use it. And this is why it's a social network. And this is why it's interconnected with Facebook and Twitter. Because when I add my next electricity bill, if my consumption goes down, we electricity automatically broadcast that on my Facebook page. So all of my Facebook friends will see that I've used real electricity to reduce my consumption this month by whatever the percentage is. And that is a, a motivating effect and it's also uh, a viral effect because if other people start using it, then their friends see it and then their friends' friends. And so the more people that are understanding that there is a relatively painless way and a free way to reduce their consumption, then that comes to the attention of utilities and that brings the utilities on board. So it creates a virtuous circle. The basic fact of what we're trying to do applies to all of these things. So we are actually going to launch a water module fairly soon. Water is just as important as energy. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your point of view, water is cheaper in many places than energy. So one of the price pressure points that people sometimes feel when they're looking at their monthly bills is not really their water bill. But we need to find a way to get people to use less water anyway. And the good news about something like we electricity is that the motivating factor is not necessarily co the cost factor. So we're going to use the model to eventually motivate people to use less water as well. Mm -hmm.